it is Sunday and I've just cut the grass in the garden. It was really long by now. I had a hard time like turning on the lawnmower. I need to get used to it. It's not super easy to turn on. But I managed. I've cut the grass. I was sweating like a pig. And now I'm going to get started painting the back of the house. And I'm also going to try to make kind of a plan with what I'm going to do with the backyard. I think I would like to do like a private space because you know the front of the garden you can pretty much see from some of the other houses where on the back of the house it's a lot more private. It's up to like a forest in the back. We need to do some more painting. I haven't been here painting for a month so I've even bought another roller in case the one that we used last time. I think it's been like a month in case that's completely dried in. I have packed it pretty nicely, but it's been a month, so it's possible that it's not really useful anymore. We hope we don't need this one, but I just didn't want to come out here <laughs> to find out that it was completely... So when you walk to the back of the house, this is what's going to meet you at the minute. As you can see here, it's all closed. I have tall trees in the back, so this could become a really nice private space in my garden and I'm actually going to ask you guys now what you think I should do should I do some place where I can sit I was also thinking if I made this really nice I could use it as a photo background like what would you do would you plant flowers all the way around it and not make a space to sit down I don't really know but it's actually a really nice space and the sun comes up like over here in the morning. Drum roll, please. Oh, that's completely fine. And the brush too. No, I just broke it, Elise. It's been a while. Oh, there's not a lot in here. Oh, there we go. Starting to look like paint. bucket of paint and this is how far I got as you can see I have not painted the door that's because I'm not going to keep that door I need another one before winter so I didn't want to waste money or time painting it but I painted all the way over there it looks so much brighter I love this corner so much more already even though it obviously needs another coat and I think it would look so cute if I had like a terrace here, a porch thing. <sighs> and this is where I ran out of yellow paint. But I managed to do this side as well. So now what's left is this. It's been warm painting in the sun but it's been good and maybe I should give you a small garden tour to show you how everything is doing it's been a while and then I think I'm going to get started cutting some branches out of my hedges I have some big branches sticking out which is not good so I need to get them out of there to not kill my hedges 
Um, but yeah, let me go. Let me give you a tour. I want to show you the white flowers so much. They're growing like crazy. First of all, I want to show you the sunflowers because if you compare with the hedges, they are now taller than one meter, which is just crazy. This one is just beautiful. Like they're growing so much and I'm so it's so good that I put these sticks into the ground to hold them up because they've been growing like crazy over the past week. But so have these. You can see this one is starting to grow the nup that's going to turn into a flower. So we definitely need to water them lots today. The weirdo is looking great. This one needs water. The wildflowers here, they look amazing, but I'm just going to show you the other ones and this one I didn't think it was going to bloom this year but it's stunning do, 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 do. like look at them guys and I'm getting the first yellow flower it's here I got some more ones that are going to open up very soon we have some small pink flowers these white ones they're looking so good and just like more and more is popping up and it's so exciting every time I come here something new is going on it's amazing and the sunflowers here they are so tall compared to me and my rose is in bloom which I also didn't think was going to happen this year, but it's just growing so much. It's a happy rose and at some point it's going to grow up against the tree. I'm going to get roses. It's going to look beautiful. A sneak peek on the house. <laughs> but these are all of the branches that I need to cut out of the hedges. Like I can't have all of that sticking out. It is now past five o'clock and this is the reason why I need a wheelbury very soon so that I can take all of this out of my garden to the compost pile. Um, I think it's time to dig up some potatoes. I think I might do a potato pizza for um, dinner tonight. Italy and England are playing the finals in the European Championship in football tonight and most Danish, Danish people they are Italians tonight which includes me so I think I'm going to make myself a pizza at home and I thought it would be quite delicious to use my own potatoes <laughs> this potato looks like a bear it has ears and a face. Oh! There are some tiny ones too. As you can see here, this one has many very small potatoes. So I would put this back into the ground and give it some more time. This is what I took up and will bring back home. Have some potatoes. So we're going to make a potato pizza. I love this one. I think it's so cute and I do think it looks like a bear. So I'm gonna take my stuff and head home.
oh that felt amazing it's like seven o'clock i haven't had any food since breakfast so let's make some potato pizza i went by the nicest pizza place on the way home i stopped by and asked them if i could borrow some dough to make a pizza out of the potatoes i've been growing in my garden like i gave them the whole story and they said yeah sure you could just get some free dough so i got dough and cheese and potatoes from my garden and some rosemary from my garden we go we're gonna make some dinner i can't speak i need some food I'm gonna wash these guys i don't know how many i need though this is the dough from the pizza plate like how lucky am i i also took some rosemary from the garden that we're also going to use on the pizza Uh, Restaurante Elise. I never thought that I was going to love growing my own things, like edible things, as much as I do. I think it's been so much fun to take potatoes up from the ground or to use some of my own herbs. It's just, there's something quite cool about it. So I will definitely next year grow like even more, I think. Um, yeah, I'm very hooked on it. I may be. I'm also going to grow some edible flowers. I would love that. I think that would be fun. So, I've got many ideas. I don't know how thin this should be. Or how thin I can make it. I need some olive oil. I am going to cut my potatoes quite thin. I prefer when they get a little bit crispy on the pizza and not super greasy and thick so I'm going to try and cut the pieces quite thin actually I think I should put these in water to take out some of the um, steel so mm, I actually think I should do that before I put on the pizza I have placed out the potatoes we now need salt and pepper and then we're going to put on all of the cheese we have the cheese here mozzarella mm. there is one detail i should have had in mind when i made this pizza i should have made it on some baking sheets so that i could have pulled it on something and into the oven while right now i've made a pizza on my table and how do i move it without breaking it but just look at her like look how beautiful it is it looks so delicious i've been taking pictures of her because she's so beautiful this is so bad this is the dumbest not bought through thing I've done in a while because this is basically pretty much impossible like everything is going to fall off no this is not fair it was so pretty if we look away from my small mess up this is such a pretty pizza i'm really happy with the results i think it looks delicious it had the perfect time in the oven if you ask me it seems crispy mm. What a fantastic ending of a garden day to eat your own potatoes and your own rosemary on your pizza with the dough that was kindly given to you for free. I'm so grateful. I'm going to enjoy that.
in here. Mm. 